are going to upscale some pots because you know you go to Lowe's and some of the different stores and you can see these really pretty little pots and they are lovely but if you need a bunch of them um, they can add up really quick because I think this one was at Lowe's for $9.99 well say you want five to ten that 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 adds up really quick but anyways back to the plants I'm sorry I'm squirreling a little bit this morning back to the plants planters the pots so a lot of these pots start you know as we see through COVID all the prices are going up 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 and up so Miss Crafty here has a way to take a plain pot and jazz it up into something bright and spectacular. Today we're going to talk about um, taking a simple terracotta pot and jazzing them up with a little bit of paint and embellishments. So we're going to paint a pot first. You go there. Um, so I know not everybody has paint, but you can use spray paint or just little, these little um, things only cost like a, anywhere from 99 cents to $2 in the store. But what I really like to use on these because it's so easy and you don't have to, if you use regular paint, you might wanna, you might wanna um, prime, put a, put a primer onto the pot because the surface is pretty porous. But if you get, they sell this at Walmart, Waverly Little Chalk Paint. It's like a dollar fifty to two dollars a bottle. Um, comes in all sorts of pretty little colors and you can get it. When I buy white, I buy it in a bigger bottle like that for like four dollars. So, but anyways, it goes on very easy onto the pot. And I'm just going to pour a little bit out here onto a paper plate. And, but I took this one and I really like it. Um, so you just take it and just, you know, um, paint it up. Now, I'm going to do something. You're going, what? I know how to paint. And I know. But you can paint it one color. And I'm just going to do the front of this for the sake of time because nobody likes to watch somebody paint too much. But anyway, see, just adding some paint on there. Now I've got why that is still wet. I'm going to take this pretty little pink that I have. Pour a little bit of that onto my paper plate. Come on. It's a little thick. But you know, cream, white, and pink, gold are very hot colors this season. So I'm going to take, I take the pink paint and I just kind of go right ahead and I smear it right in to that beige. And can you see What's happening there it makes a nice little street and you can work this to get as much pink or as much beige as you want and so see that I'll finish that later I've done it on this yellow pot and it's just um, in faux finish world they call it like a strie effect um, but it's just mashing the two colors together and kind of blending them. So we're going to do something with this. Do I have some? I'll show you something to do with this yellow pot later. But in the meantime, I took and did this effect on another pot and took it up another layer. I had some burlap trim laying here around the house and we're going to yet take it up another notch. So, 
you know, I like to embellish. So see, there's this seam right here. Nobody wants to see that seam. We're gonna make that seam pop out with a flower. So this flower, it actually had some twist ties on it. Um, I think I got it at Michael's or something like that. I cut off the twist tie part and I have these little sticky dots. And I put one on there to kind of take up where the, the stem was, um, it wouldn't lay flat onto the thing if I didn't put like a little bumper there. So one acts like a bumper and then I've taken another one. I've hole punched in the center of it to fit over the stem. See that? So I hole punched right in the center, put one on. Now I'm gonna take the second one and pop it right in there like this. And then take the, the cover off. Find that seam. We're gonna pop that flower right there on that seam and voila look at that so we have the burlap we have some cream so if you so if you like that kind of thing that's how easy it is um one thing i would say is um i didn't do this um and i'm kind of disappointed if you want it to look porcelain there, Krylon makes this spray, or it comes in a bottle if you want to brush it on, but it's called Clear Glaze, and it's thicker and shinier. So if you want it to look like porcelain, um, this is a good thing to buy. So there's pot one. Um, that's the Strier Pots. Also, um, at Walmart, I found this cute little white pot. It was plain, like this. With my card making, I do a lot of rub-ons and, and some of my um, collages and stuff, and I love these little rub-ons. And I've had these little rub-ons for, oh, a long time, years and years and years. And this particular color, I didn't really use a whole lot in a lot of my work, so I had a lot left. So I had this nice big flower, and I rubbed it on. Well, in the center of this, there's, um, there's nothing there. So, I'm going to show you how easy it is to quickly add an embellishment there and how to do a rub-on. So, here's, all of this comes in the, on the sheet. It, as you can see, I have used some of it. I can do little, another little flower or I can do a heart. And there's a little heart right in the edge here so I'm going to clip that off and then hopefully the backing will come up. Take this little heart I'm going to put it right in the middle and then I have this little popsicle stick and I just take that and rub for that to adhere to the edge onto the pot and voila there you have a jazzed up little white pot and then you can go to your store and find cute little succulents and put in there on to um you have old mason jars i i i know these things are um this was an old glass jar that I had that um, I probably wouldn't use for canning. Um, I think I think the boys got in to, and bought some moonshine or something in this. So I took it and so what I did real quick is I, I did not paint the outside. What I did is I put some paint and thinned it down a little bit and um, Zudged it around with a paintbrush. Just take a, a paintbrush that has a longer handle. Um, I'm going to show you what actually my favorite paintbrushes are. Here they are. 
these you can find these for like 50 cents to 99 cents a piece it's a little chip brush I use these brushes for everything you take this take it down into the jar paint paint in the insides of the jar and paint up and I made this a nice dusty blue but is that enough oh hell no I have ribbon we're going to give it a little pop of color because I don't know if you like it, but I love turquoise and red. And, you know, once again, the burlap is um, very um, popular. So I've had this ribbon sitting around for a while. So I just am going to take that and do a quick measure around my jar quick measure snip that um, this is probably where I should have glue dots <laughs> quickness but good old Mod Podge or you can use I like to use um, this adhesive which we're going to talk about in a few minutes uh, I like to use this E6000 because it um, it adheres things very well um, metal glass so I'm really hoping the Mod Podge is going to work where did I just put that brush because I think that's the brush I want okay this is the stiff brush this is already when you use Mod Podge, get one brush, use it because it's going to become instantly stiff, but it will still work to adhere things. So, um, I am not going to be perfect with this because this dries translucent um, on your projects. So there, I've got Mod Podge all the way around. Oh, come out of there. I'm trying to be kind of quick so I don't um, take the ribbon and place it around the jar. Give it a good squeeze. So you have this. Is this enough? No. For me, no. This, you could stop right here. You don't even have to go here, but I want to zig it up. I want to, I want to enhance it a little bit more. So I bought this little burlap flower at Walmart. I had this laying around in a paste stone. I took the E6000, um, glued the paste stone into the center. Take it out, take the E6000, if it's going to come out, yeah I should have really done dots, and there it goes. When you have this, you may want to put a straight pin in the top so it keeps it from flowing, just like you do um, Crazy Glue, Super Glue. Crazy Glue is a brand, Super Glue is a product. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to have to hold this a little bit because it, because um, the glue needed to dry. But anyways, quick idea of putting a flower onto the jar. And then, to bring in the red theme, I'm sorry, it's all falling apart right now. But anyways, to go in with the red theme, I have these red silk flowers, and voila. We have this little attachment. And I will take pictures of this when I get it right. Moving on, I have one more idea. Um, let's see. I have this pot here. This is just a uh, scrapbook paper, just scrapbook paper, and I cut it. So I have this. We're going to 
get this looking hot and sexy again with the Mod Podge. Um, this time I think I'm going to put it on the paper instead of the container. I took, this was just a clear plastic container that some decorative rocks came in. I liked the shape of it. I took gold spray paint, painted it up, looks beautiful just the way it is. But we're going to take this white, I love this white and gold look. So I have some paper handy that, to do that. Like I said, I'm going to glue the, so I'm just gonna take the Mod Podge and put it onto the paper. And take it like that. Wrap it around the cylinder and voila. Um, and then you can adjust it, you know. You can pull this back off and adjust it. I'm just not going to do it right now. Um, I like it like that. So, but uh, that's how you can take just a plastic container. And you can still put like fresh cut flowers or anything like that. I would suggest maybe putting some stones in the bottom to weight it down, particularly if you're going to put it outside. But that's another idea. Then, I, I, I showed this, but this, um, this was another little pot that I found at Lowe's. Um, I did it a couple different colors, but you know, color it up. This yellow saucer, I can put it with this pot or this pot. And I did use the chalk paint for this project also. So those are two things you can do. And then my plan is, and I'll show it in pictures later, um, again with this the little succulents and I have bought three of them I have these little succulents here and I will put them into the dirt here and make a little succulent garden and then I'll top it off with some river rocks but like I said I'll, I'll add pictures later but here are a couple other little um, things I've done just plain colors and then I've glammed them up with uh, rose gold paint that I had on hand